Hello everybody, Dan here with TrendSpider, and in this video I'm going to show you a brand new feature that we've just released called Custom Annotation Templates. This feature is intended to make your life easier. We put it in a category of features that we call quality of life features because they're intended to improve the quality of life of users as they use the TrendSpider platform. I'm going to show you a little bit about how that works. So the way this works is uh, it allows you to have custom drawing tools. So as you know, right now in TrendSpider, if you draw a line and then you draw, customize this line, you know, and you change the color, maybe you make it a different type of line, maybe you make it a little bit thicker, right? The next time you draw a line of the same type, it'll remember the settings. Now this is meant to save you time because if you customize a line once, we presume that you may want to customize it the same way again. But in practice, that's not always how traders work. You know, we have different types of lines that we end up using in different ways and their visual distinctiveness from one another is important to us because it gives us at a glance a way to understand that these two lines that we drew on this chart are different. So what this feature allows you to do is save custom drawing tools so that you can reuse them without having to customize them every time. Here's how that works. I just drew a ray here, this black line. I'm going to go to customize it and then I'm going to click on custom annotations and I'm going to click on save as a custom annotation. I can give it a name now, call it green or maybe I'll call it support and I'm going to make this line green because it's my support line or I'm going to make the icon for the, the button green and I'm also going to make the line itself green. Now I like my support line to be big so I'm going to make it thicker and I like it to be dotted so I'm going to make it dotted and I'll press done. And you'll notice that now a new line has, a new button has been added to my sidebar here called support. I can press this and every time I do this, it's going to draw a green dotted line. But my regular line here is going to stay the same like I customized it last time. Oops, sorry, that was a segment. I meant to do a ray. But you can see that my ray is normally solid and black. But when I use the support ray button that I've added, it's green and dotted. What's cool is I can add as many custom annotations as I like. So I can go here and go to save as a custom annotation and let's say I want resistance, right? And I can make a different button just for my resistance lines. And this one, if I want, I can make it a dash and two dot setup. I can make it super thick. And you'll notice I now have a button here that draws super thick resistance lines and a button that draws thinner dotted green support lines. You can add as many custom annotations as you like. As you add them, they will simply uh, fill in on your sidebar here. And if you add enough of them, it'll add a second sidebar. All right, we can call this A, B, C, D. All right, and as I keep adding more and more things here, each annotation I can customize and save. Now, um, I know this is, seems like a fairly uh, little thing, right? Um, it's a big deal when you do a lot of charting, right? And you'll notice I'm starting to get to a point where my sidebar is getting full. I'm going to just add one more here for visual effect. And you can see that I can now scroll down here and have a full list of all my drawing tools on my sidebar. Now, one last thing I want to highlight about this because it is, um, you know, some, somewhat worth noting. The system will also automatically assign a hotkey to each of these. So you'll notice, um, I don't know if you can see the tooltip in the video, but there's a little one, a two, a three, a four, a little number on the top left corner of each of these. That is so you know what hotkey button works. So on a PC, it's Alt. On a Mac, it's the Option key. But if I push Option 2 on my Mac here, it's going to select the resistance line. If I select Option 1, it'll select my support line. If I select Option 4, it's going to add my fib and so forth. So that's it. A uh, little feature that will make a big difference in your life as you trade and chart and, you know, get used to it. I hope that you like this. I hope it helps you guys out. If you have any questions or anything about this feature or the platform itself, don't hesitate to reach out. And by the way, I'm making this video on Saturday, the 28th of November. And I just want to take one quick moment to point out that our Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Chart Month November offer, which is 50% off any TrendSpider plan, ends 
very soon at the end of the month. So if you want to take advantage of that, if you want this feature and any of the hundreds of features that we roll out every year, we're constantly updating this product. Sign up because it's a great time to do it. And all you have to do is start your free trial before the end of the month. Plus, if you're switching from another platform, you can also get an additional 10% off by showing us that you switched if you contact support after you sign up. So again, thank you very much and have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.